Hey everybody, it is Thursday, December 30th, 2021. We're just on our way into the property here. Um, super exciting. We're gonna go to a few of the Cuddy Link cameras that I have out because one of the most important things, and you see a lot of questions out there, is what's the right height for camera placement? So we're just gonna go to my cameras. I brought a tape measure. We're gonna look at the setup, measure it, and then we'll look at some photos that we've gotten throughout this fall and start a winter from these camera placements. We are at the field road crossing. This is a J1538 black flash camera. Let's see how far off the ground this guy is. and a half inches to the lens so 29 inches uh, I'm on the trail right here on the trail right here is 15 feet you can see the tape measure is a little crooked but that's 15 feet right there This camera, Dad just moved out here. Let's see how far off the ground we have this one. That is 31 to the lens. 31. And that's a G camera. That's a white flash camera. Um, with the G cameras, you have 56 LEDs versus 24 LEDs in the J cameras. So we'll expect to shoot a little bit further with this camera. And we don't have too many pictures from this camera yet, but let's look at some of the ones that we do have. All right, this is the West Beans hemp rope camera. This is another white flash camera. This one is right at 29 as well. And we're maybe a little bit further away from this hemp rope as the focal point here. A little bit further away than 15 feet. That's 22. 22 is right here. But again, a little bit clearer pictures with the G camera and the white flash color nighttime photos are absolutely amazing. So let's take a look at them. Shot of the muddy in the millennium. So we're walking down towards the muddy bolt entrance right now. Flash G camera. So again, it has the ability to get pictures clear a little bit further away. Let's see what we got here for height. That is 28 to the lens. This one we're, we're maxed out here, 25 feet underneath this screen. So there are some really good pictures of bucks right under this tree that we're going to see.
This is a, another J camera, black flash. That is 28, smidge under 28. They were really, there's a really good scrape here. You'll see some good pictures of the Big Ten on this straight. We are 22 feet to right here. The Cuddy Link system, one of the best tools I've seen for being able to target and harvest the biggest buck on a given property. But to use it as, you know, the most recent information, this is going to help you kill the biggest buck on your property, we got to be able to get pictures. So that was a really good exercise. For me um, to actually look at the height of the camera and they were anywhere from just under 28 inches um, to almost 32 um, I never actually measured them I always just try to put them you know mid thigh uh, and then measuring the detection zone so where you think the animal is going to come through the first J camera uh, we are right at 15 feet which is always in my mind I didn't want to be over 15 feet with the J black flash camera. Um, with the G cameras, we went out a little bit further, out to 22 feet. And the G cameras are a little bit stronger. You're gonna get a little bit clearer picture further away. And then this last camera that we did right here, the East Muddy, is another J black flash. And we got that um, 22 feet away from um, where we were expecting a lot of the deer underneath this scrape and we can see we have good pictures good quality with that one as well so it, it was really really fun to do that um, you know if there's one thing that that needs to be nailed for the system to work at its highest efficiency it's the detection zone so let's go